Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of His Excellency, uh, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musa Faki Muhammad, the African Union is very pleased to be here in Rabat for the third specialized training of African election observers. We are very pleased that the government of the Kingdom of Morocco has continuously, consistently, for the past three years, supported our democratic governance through election observation. In my few days in Rabat, I have already consulted with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Moroccan expatriates abroad, and African cooperation. I will be also, in the next few days, consulting with the Policy Center on the New South at a dialogue seminar on how to improve and enrich the African experience in promoting and fostering democracy. But the goal of my declaration this evening is to assure you that the African Union continues to cherish the full support of the government of the Kingdom of Morocco for the training of African experts. Since this program started, a bilateral program that the African Union Commission fully supports, the buy-in has been enormous because over 150 African experts have been trained in election cycle processes. We are very pleased, particularly, that this year we have a number of youth, African youth and women, participating in enriching the methodology, the credibility process, and the post-election processes for democratic practice. Our ultimate goal is to inspire and contribute to the implementation and realization of Agenda 2063. The Africa we want is only realizable when we build the democracy we want. When we build the necessary steps, we make the necessary steps towards constitutionalism, the rule of law, and respect for basic fundamental freedoms and human rights. So for us in the African Union, we continue to work with all member states to realize the goals and aspirations of Agenda 2063. It is also critical to mention that the nexus between peace, security, stability, governance, and development is also one of our major objectives. Our set goal is to strengthen and consolidate democracy through full participation of the society. Women, children, the elderly. All must be part of the process of strengthening the separation of powers, of ensuring that democracy thrives. And let me end by the famous quote by former President Barack Obama of the United States, who said, if we want democracy to win, we must fight for it. And the goal is to broaden the scope of democratic practice on our continent. We can only do it in solidarity with Pan-Africanism Pan as the hallmark of that experience. The experience must be shared with women, with the youth, with all stakeholders, 
so that we can build a conflict-free Africa, a democratic Africa, and ensure that all actors, the whole of society, will be part of that experience. I thank you so much. شكرا على المشاهدة إذا أعجبك الفيديو اضغط على زر الإعجاب لا تنسى الاشتراك في القناة وتفعيل الجرس وتابعنا على مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي مرحبا بك